Psychopath Retaliation I am the doer. I am not the done to. That is the natural order of matters. I see many as way beneath me. Unworthy of even being in receipt of my malice. It would be a waste of my ability and resources to apply my chaos engine to deal with them. Far better to leave them ignored, for the consignment to indifference sends its own message, leaving such individuals lost in the confusion of not being acknowledged. There are those that are desperate for recognition, even if it is beneath the heel of oppression. Yet, I leave these nobodies untouched, for it is more satisfying to have the wails of their neediness in one's ears, as one leaves them floundering, than to give them the beauty of recognition. They are dismissed. For others, they must be taught a lesson. They will come to experience the smack of firm governance in whatever form that may take. They will be brought to heel, chastised, disciplined, and reminded of who they will bend to. There exists a range of measures that are to be meted out to those that find themselves categorized as such. Yet, for those within this band, they serve some purpose to me. I maintain their existence, for they provide me with amusement, a diversion from the lurking ennui. Crushing these individuals is always a possibility, but then it snuffs out any possibility of entertainment. It is far more gratifying to cause them to engage in a gallows dance, and then cut them down before they expire, allowing precious air to enter their lungs once again. That way, should I deem it necessary to teach them a lesson, they can be strung up once again and subjected to a jerking dance Face congested, eyes bulging, strangulating gasps escaping their twisted mouths, and then release. Ah, sweet release from their torture, the realization of their continued existence, and the receding of the pain, all by my hand, is quite the spectacle. This group simply find themselves subjected to discipline, for I have use of them in my dominion. For others still, however, it is my nation-state that must bring the full weight of its might against them. There will be no quarter given to those that have caused suitable offence. For those within this grouping there will be no cessation of hostilities, no negotiated ceasefire. I will burn them to ashes, and then burn the ashes. There will be no hiding place, no refuge from the incessant onslaught. Those that get in the way of my pursuit of my quarry will find themselves similarly disincentivized. You must not, and will not, distract my total pursuit and annihilation of these individuals. Might it be that they could serve some use to me? No. It is beyond a question of use. They forfeited such rights a long time ago and now are branded with the mark of obliteration. The identification of such individuals has them as candidates for destruction. Every facet of their existence must be disintegrated. They must be defeated 
deleted, and disinfected from the face of the earth. Nothing less than total hegemonic victory is acceptable in relation to these transgressors whose lives will be extinguished, whose possessions will be broken, burned, and scattered to the winds like so much ash. Their connections will be severed, their memories eradicated, their homes razed, their businesses liquidated. Each and every indicator of their existence must be purged in a relentless crusade against the offender. The scale and extent of their eradication is such that the effect is to cause those that knew of them to only risk mention of them by oblique reference or frantic whisper. The full arsenal will be unleashed upon them, a policy of scorched earth, a complete annihilation of the enemy. It is edifying and entirely logical. There can be no seeds of resistance, no sapling of insurgency that remain. Everything must go. It is only accurate to detail that this outcome is not the most common. The mobilization and expenditure of resources against such a transgressor is substantial. It must be, in order to achieve the required outcome. Accordingly, it is merited in only certain instances. It is not the default action. It is not standard operating procedure. There are lesser campaigns that are utilized against the majority which are entirely effective. No. It is only comparatively rare instances where the apocalypse will be brought to the door of my enemy, and with the coming of their end others may fall also. It is necessary and right. There can be no legacy for them. All of this is planned, calculated, and executed. It is not a random assault of a berserker lashing out at whatever is closest. Far from it. It is the hyper-focused application of the chaos engine, deployed with laser precision against the relevant transgressor, maximum resource allocation to achieve the total outcome, an unleashing of targeted might that leaves nothing standing in the target area. What prompts such a blitzkrieg you are doubtless contemplating? What possible act merit such a total response by my nation-state against the transgressor? What craven behaviours justify such a massive, crushing, destructive force? It is my retaliation. Retaliation for what, I hear you query. You should understand that for the very few of my ilk we apply a very particular type of retaliation. I get my retaliation in first. <laughs>